What's up, Summoner? Solar Renekton only here, back for another daily Renekton commentary. Uh, today I am playing as Rise in the top lane. Uh, trying to figure out how I want to start this game. Um, I kind of feel like Doran's Blade Star would still be good. I don't see why not. Uh, I mean, what are your other options, really? I don't like no magic mantle, two health pot. That's like terrible. Mm, long sword, three health pot, maybe. You also have Doran Shield. Doran Shield wouldn't be that bad of a, a buy in that situation. Um, I think I'm just going to be offensive, so I feel like the Doran's Blade is going to work out just as fine. Or just as well, rather. Uh, basically, so I actually haven't played this matchup since they. Because this was on the 4.3 patch. So Ryze just had some buffs that came through. Uh, they they increased his... Oh my god, ping is horrible right now. Uh, they increased Ryze's Q range by like 25, I think. They put that like 625 range now. So we're going to see how that kind of works out. He should be able to like poke me a little bit early on. And I'm assuming he's going to start like Mana Crystal to Health Bot. And that should give him a lot of burst damage with his Q. And a lot of mana to constantly spam it out early game. So I want to be a little bit careful and not allow him to hit too many free Qs off on me. And I also want to be using my Q off in this uh, to sustain. Likely I'm just going to push the first two waves in and try and reset. Wow. NA servers are laggy right now. Oh, 180 ping. Damn. That sucks. So yeah, I'm just going to probably push the waves in. That's going to help out too since I have a blade... So as long as I'm pushing with the blade, we should be in a good spot. Uh, you can start either way. You can either like shove right away, or you can just uh, go fairly slow. Wow, he's a lot of mana. He started with boots and health pots. That's interesting. So I'm like never going to hit him, basically, because he's going to be too quick. Until I get my E, at least. So... Oh, or he leaves too slow. Interesting. So now this is the wave that I want to shove into tower here. Just push this in. Take my E. There we go. Okay, perfect. Got 12 CS for the 12 minions. Gonna go get my ward down. Got him pushed into tower. This is gonna keep me safe from the 3 minute gank. And all is good. Okay. So he's like half mana as well, and he only has one mana pot. So I'm going to start trying to dash into him, auto attack, and maybe get a Q off. Let's see if I can do it now. Alright, nice. We got that auto attack off that I talked about. Ended up working out pretty decently. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can get aggressive when he goes in for this can of minion. Alright, nice. Even got that minion as well. I need to start life stealing back up though. I'm not gonna be able to help him out really there. I was too low. If he initiates, like I could flash on him. Pretty sure we can just dive this. I'm trying not to push it in until he gets here. Uh, we can't dive in now. No, that's just stupid. That's just really, really, really stupid. I don't know what that was. I have, I have no idea what that was. Now I get wrecked because of that. Because <laughs> this guy is red buff. Wow. Really? Okay. So that was just really stupid by Pantheon. I have no idea what the fuck he was doing there. That was just horrible. So, we move on. <laughs> Now I'm gonna have like a really difficult lane phase because I can't I can't pressure him, which is kind of I don't know what I wanted to do obviously, because now he has double buff so he's obviously much stronger than I am. The good thing is the wave's pushing to me so I'm not really missing anything for this back right here, but obviously he's getting all this free farm and he got free mana that he shouldn't have. Essentially he just got to stick in lane way longer and get way more farm than he should have. Plus he got a kill, which is really just bad, like really bad. Um, it'd be nice if I could get the double buffs off of him, but I do not see that happening. 
Oh, that was bad. Tried to get that minion there with my E, but missed it. Ended up getting auto attacked with red buff. Don't have enough damage to kill that. If I had flashed there, I would have flashed and stunned him, but. I got him. Oh my god, I almost fucked that up. I attacked a minion there. Wow, that was so close to me fucking that up. Jesus. That was really bad. I should not have been that close. I auto-attacked the minion at the end there instead of him. That was like, that's that's the only reason I looked close. Oh man. <laughs> so I got the double buffs, so that's good. I'm just gonna keep chugging health bots here. Try and sustain back up. Alright, nice. I'm gonna Q here. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna try and wait in this bush. He probably thinks I'm going back to base. Because it's gonna be a kind of a while. I doubt he's gonna think I'm in here. And he just uses ultimate, so yeah, it's really unlikely that he thinks I'm in here. I'm gonna let some minion die. Okay, once he uses some spells, I'll go in. And his W. Alright, should be able to get him here with red buff. Very good. Okay. That's all about just knowing that he's probably gonna eventually come up and farm the minions. Uh, it's pretty likely that I would back in that situation. That's kind of what I was using against him there. So that combined with the red buff was pretty easy. Plus he just teleported in, so... It's actually a pretty big deal, because now all these minions are going to hit the tower, and he's going to miss out on all of them. Um, I think this is actually a really good game for a Hex Drinker. It's going to let me... Yikes, bot lane just got wrecked. Oh, King Plebe's like really good. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, Jarvan's just like focusing on bot lane from the looks of it. We're getting a dragon right now. It's going to be back at like 13. 13. 5 drag. Oh, yikes. He missed that one. Alright, he still gets him. Not bad. I'm trying to pressure him for this minion. Oops. That would get a little iffy. Damn, I didn't want him to pop that. That's pretty much why I backed out before. Let's see if I can loop around. I wonder if he's doing something weird. Wow, oh, his jungle still countered over here. Okay, I'm just going to back up and farm this wave out. Kind of sucked that my... Uh, My Hex Drinker got used, but whatever. Uh, Pantheon has his ult up right now. I'm going to take out the tower and tell him to ult here. I'm pretty sure we can get a free kill if he ults top. Tower is one hit. Fuck. I wasn't able to get it. But it's gonna, it might lull this guy into like a false sense of security, thinking that he has a tower behind him. And it really doesn't do much for him. Okay. I got him at the Ignite there. Okay, so that worked out. I had to blow both my summoners, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, we, can, we can probably kill this guy. Oh wow, he really should have dropped aggro before that. He was trying to tank way too much. I'm like full HP. Uh, I think LeBlanc's coming up. So I'm just going to put a little damage and then back out. Yeah, he's here. I'm two levels ahead of LeBlanc and I have magic resist, so... 
I'm pretty sure I could deal with them. I don't want to get spotted out, so I'm going to walk like this. Okay. Doesn't look like we're going to do much. Ideally, I want to just uh, take mid tower right here. Oh, never mind. Jarvan showed up. We can't deal with that. I mean, he's level 6, so... This guy's ultimate. He can probably just, like, ult someone into us. Alright, it looks like this guy is going to be our only target. I don't know why he's not going for him. He wasn't going to be able to catch anybody else. We might have actually been able to kill the guy. Uh, we should be able to take tower here, though. I can't follow that up. Eh, flash for flash. Probably not the greatest. Uh, I need to start rotating toward top. I want to stay for the local gold, though. Okay. Should be able to stop him. I can actually probably come up behind and kill him. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to back out. Exactly. I, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to kill him. My E's more than enough to... I do more than enough damage to kill him right now with double Doran's Blade into Hex Trigger. Like, that's pretty offensive. I was trying to find him. If he was backing in that bush, I would have got a really good engage off on him. But he was not there, so oh well. Just gonna farm up these minions. I was doing really good earlier with the farm. Kind of fell off slightly. I've been roaming quite heavily. I have a lot of gold right here. I'm gonna look the back shortly. Alright. Uh, what am I going to be buying? Hmm. I'm not sure if I should have bought this Hex Drinker. Because now it's throwing off the item path that one I'm thinking about going. I'm not exactly sure. The jungle is bot lane, so I just want to pressure this guy. And then I can rotate down. I'm just going to rotate mid and shove this into tower. Yep, that's what I was waiting for. It's not really a big deal. I'm not worried about taking damage here. Uh, the top lane's missing. Yeah. But we both have dashes over the walls, so... Pretty easy for both of us to get away. Uh, we both have ultimate. Actually, no, he doesn't have ultimate. But Pantheon does. They're all trying to go bottom. Yeah, push, push mid, push mid. We just like lock up mid, we'll come out so far ahead of this. If bot lane just walks away, well, they're staying and they're gonna die under tower, but if bot walked away, we could have just walked mid. I have no idea why they're chasing. All we had to do was answer by pushing mid lane. Come on, that's like really frustrating. I can't get, I can't fight both of them at once. I don't think. I have too much gold I'm sitting on. That was so easy though. Like we see a gank coming bottom, all you have to do is divert your forces to the mid lane. That forces them that forces them to go through with the gank. That was really good. That forces them to have to commit to the all in down bot. And if we already saw it coming, we could be prepared for it. So we technically shouldn't even uh, be be able to get killed by it. But so basically what should have happened there is bot lane should have backed away, which is what they were doing. And then Gragas should have came with me and went mid lane. Because if he went mid lane, we would have put pressure on mid lane, forcing them to leave bot lane. Or we would have taken mid tower if they committed to bot lane. And the commit to bot lane would not work because we saw it with wards. I hope that's clear. <laughs> I just think that's like a criti critical tactical error that a lot of people make. They think supporting your team is the best thing at all times, when in reality, sometimes it's better when your opponents are taking an objective or going for a gank, you need to use your resources and go somewhere else. Like, we had a free shot right up the mid lane, we already had minions there pushing with us. Like, that was a super easy play. But it's okay. Um, how do I want to build? I think I'm just going to go into a Sunfire Cape here and get boots as well. With some vision. Okay, this will be pretty good. And then my next item is going to be probably Merc Treads into Spear Visage. I'm probably going to 
take a more tanky route this game. Uh, I think I'm also going to get a Banshees as well this game. I might get a Banshees next, actually. Go Merc Treads into Banshees, maybe. I'm probably going to end up with a Spirit Visage and a Banshees, though. So this guy's backing. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. Uh, I'm just shoving out mid so we have pressure in the lane. That pressure in the lane basically grants us vision. So I was able to snipe out that ward. That's really good for us. I should be able to catch this guy. He's going to flash over. Alright, got a little bit of damage on him. Not too much. Uh, we don't want to... Oh. Okay. They got him. I'm pretty sure I got this guy. Uh, I don't want to use my ignite. I think I have him. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Even if I used my ignite, then I wouldn't have killed him. So, so we want to take Dragon right now and have Draven go bot. Drave. He's already going there. I don't even know why I told him. <laughs> he he knows what he's doing. This isn't bronzy though. Okay, I want to start heading to a top lane. I'm going to let Gragas get this mid lane for him. And I need to try and hold top lane tower. Because we don't want to trade drag for top tower if you don't have to. Okay. I should be there in time. This guy pushes really slow, especially with the items that he's bought. He doesn't really have much AP right now. And he doesn't really have much of anything. He just has a bunch of like rag tag items. He actually doesn't know I'm here, but I don't I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do anything. Oh wow, I didn't get my second E. Yeah. I'm definitely not gonna be Oh, maybe Gragas can get him. Gragas has ult now, okay. Always throw your ward if you got one. I got him. Okay. That went well. Push out these minions. Oh wow, I got raped. What? Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, what the hell? How's this guy not dead? But he was dying. He just needed a little bit more time. <laughs> He's waiting to expire. Uh, I'm gonna pressure top lane, because the only person that can come is Jarvan. Yeah, there he is. I saw him before. I thought he was gonna EQ farther back, though. I figured he knew I saw him, but I guess not. Did he have red buff? He did not. I'm gonna go check his red. So we're pressuring mid right now, so if it's not up, I can just loop around. Okay, it's not up. Let's see if I can loop around. Uh, yeah, they don't have vision of this. Oh, he screwed up. Yeah, we're not gonna get him. Okay. Should look to make a play mid though. Gotta be slightly careful. Oh, what? He got that? No way. That was lame. Alright. There we go. Yo, let's just push. What the hell? We can force this shit so easily. This is like the super easy force. I'm not sure why this guy went to the whole top. If he just fought mid, we'd be able to fight and kill. But it's okay, not a big deal. Me and this guy can, uh, we got it back. It's not a good position to be in. And Draven got caught. He's trying to like 1v2, but it's not going well. I lied, it's going really well. Because now it's a one. Oh, he lived. Oh, I gotta block the Q. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna get tower damage. It's getting tanked by minions right now, why not? Now it's getting tanked by Gragas. He's able to dodge both of that. Okay. We can keep pressuring, I think. Uh, these guys are too afraid, I think. Nice. How the hell did he kill this guy? I have no idea. Our ju the jungler just killed their top lane. That's probably... Yeah, he's really far behind now. Gragas has ultimate, so we might be able to kill someone here. Oh, that's bad. Nah, that's not good. Just back out. It's gonna be four against uh, two. Okay, they're doing their blue buff right now. 
Yeah, we're not gonna get anything off of this. Just just back. No sense in doing anything else here. Uh, I'm gonna grab my Merc Treads and start working toward my Spectral Cow. Top lane's pushing. We should just group up. Five men. There you go. Great. Engage. Okay. We have Annie, Gragas, and... Oh my god. Okay. This guy just got chunked super hard. There's a bad guy over there. We don't want this. We just need to hold until Draven has enough time to come back. What the hell? Alright, I should be able to kill this guy. Alright, he's dead. I'm gonna turn, see if I can help. I should have enough to kill this guy. I got him in a second, I believe. There it is. Okay, push mid. We're gonna lose top tower here, but we're gonna trade for tier two mid, so it's definitely gonna be worth it. I keep hitting three every time I queue. I'm so used to having a Hydra. Oh my god. Oh, if we remember, bot tower is really low as well, 800 HP. So looks like Gragas is trying to grab that tower up because I'm getting the mid one. That's really good for us. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Just gonna back out here, I guess. I have a lot of magic resist right now. I'm really not threatened by these guys at the moment. Uh, Gragas needs to leave. He should be okay. Gragas has a ridiculous amount of movement speed. Okay. Just keep working toward my... I think I'm actually gonna buy the Banshee's Veil first this game. Because I'm probably gonna get more use out of Banshee's against a Rise, a Wonk, Alistar type team than I would out of the Spirit Visage. Also, I don't have any health steal, any life steal component, so the Spirit Visage is like a little bit less effective in that sense as well. And he's top lane, so they should be fine against this. Even the two ver or, I don't know about the three verse two, but I know they can win the two verse two. So Alistar is mid and LeBlanc's mid, so they, they're actually in a 2v2 top lane. They can easily win that. I'm going to see if I can get a ward over here so we can get a little uh, better vision on the map. And then we can just keep pressuring. We can just pressure this tower down. I mean, it's pretty low already. These guys are like doing crazy shit. They should be able to win that super easy though. Okay. The problem is us three are all melee, so like we have to run into tower range to like actually hit the tower. <laughs> And put ourselves in a vulnerable position. Yeah, I figured he was here. That's why I walked toward him. Just to pressure him away. Uh, we can just keep pressuring this tower. They should be fine top. Yeah. He's able to stun this guy up. Okay, he's dead. Oh, wow. He had flash still. Lame. Oh, what the hell? This guy's crazy, man. What the hell? He went back to his... Okay. I don't even know. <laughs> Damn. The calls to report Ezreal. Jeez. We should... Actually, we might, we might be able to end the game. No. No way. Draven's just so strong, it's like all we have to do is stick around and keep him alive and we'll be fine. What the hell? I think that guy gave up. He just like flashed in. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be a little mad. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna get my back off here and go pick me up a Banshee's Veil. Yeah, that was really weird. I was dashing to kill the LeBlanc and then he like went back to his W even though I had to like a fail dash. Oh my god, we're writing novels in all chat now. Like, I want to he hear about your drama. <laughs> like, I care at all. Give me your ELO. It's all I care about. Oops, did not mean to do that. 
<laughs> no, my banshees fail. Go bot lane. Go bot, go bot. All you have to do is go bot. There's no sense in going for dragon right now. Oh. Just get dry, try to come over and catch people. Didn't manage to work. Wrecked. He didn't think I had another E dash, but I did. All you have to do is ignite Rise when he pops his ultimate and he pretty much dies every time. Come back, friend. I wanna milk those. Let me milk them. Let me milk them. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to milk Alistar, but he didn't let me. That was a good game. Uh, we kind of stomped from the beginning, I guess. Uh, I think I played pretty well against the Rise. Other than the double buffs going to him, which kind of was really annoying to deal with. Because it made me have to play a lot more defensive than I would have liked to. I could have played extremely, extremely aggressive. Because the way he was playing his Rise was going to have a lot of mana issues in the lane. But obviously he got the blue buff. And he didn't really have the mana issues. But I think Ryze has a lot of mana issues until he gets tier. And especially as Renekton, a champion that can sustain through his, his uh, mana pool pretty easily. So I think that matchup is still very Renekton favored. I know everybody saw CLG Nien play Ryze the other day. And it worked out decently. I mean, although it was in like a two weird 3v1 type crap. But I think it's definitely a viable top lane champion against... A lot of the current top lane meta. I think obviously it'll do very well against Mundo because Mundo has a very inactive uh, lane phase. You know, other champions like Nasus it'll do well against. So it's really just another one of those late game scaling monster champions that actually can do really good against some melee champions in lane. So I think you'll see a lot more Rise top lane. But hope you guys enjoyed this game. This was obviously a different one. I don't often play against Rise top lane, but I'm happy to get this game out for you guys. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.